so I'm at home. My room is a complete mess. I am going to finish this project in my room so I can get that video up for you guys, but wow. This is a lot of work, you guys, a lot. Oh, hello everyone. I think it's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is anymore, or what time, I don't know. I think it's the afternoon and I think it's Wednesday. Anyway, just sitting here, I'm so sore and I feel like my body aches and that's only because yesterday I was working on the project in my room and I figured why not because they're not doing anything I have nothing to do so I might as well finish the project in my room and I finished most of it I still have to order something another box I'm pretty sure you guys have figured out what I'm doing in my room by now if you have been watching me a while but I just don't want to say it because I want to have a big reveal when I'm done so anyway I what am I saying I do need to order something from Home Depot one more thing and then I'll be finished and I don't know if I'm going to order it and then do the online pickup where because I called and found out that you could order it and then they'll have it ready for you and then you could just pick it up and go. Probably should have them deliver it here at home, but it'll cost more money. So I don't know, I'll figure out how I'm going to do that. That way I can finish up my room and be done with that. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. So remember how I showed you guys that my one mirror fell? Well, I did get the command strips. So it's back on the wall. Remember that one right there I showed you guys had fell off? So now it's back where it belongs. And I'm watching Legacies on Netflix. It's like a spin-off of a spin-off. <laughs> spin-off of the originals. And the originals was a spin-off of the Vampire Diaries. Yes, I like those cheesy teenage um young, you know, young adult stories. So Alright, so it's much later, but remember I told you guys I had to get lights for my lighting up there. So I put that one in and the other one that's over there, but I didn't put those two in yet because my ceilings are really tall and my ladder is only six foot and I'm sore today <laughs> for working in my room. And plus, I think in order for me to do it, I would have to stand on this ledge and I'm not totally comfortable with that because Y'all, I'm a little extra and I don't want to fall through and break my house. <laughs> so, actually, I'm going to have Cheyenne do it um, when she comes back. Yes, I still look like this. Anyway, they actually was getting a little cabin fever. So, the one thing that's open, and this is totally safe, I'm okay with them doing this. They have gone to the drive-ins and we called and everything. So... The inside is closed where they sell the food and all that. The bathrooms are open, but I told them, I said, only go if you have to, but it is what it is. And parked 10 feet away from another car. So when they got there, they texted me and they said they have markers and everything. So the reason why I didn't go is because they are going to see something, two movies that I don't really want to see or that I don't care to see right now. So that's the reason why I didn't go. So it's just me in Boston. And Boston is whining by her door. So this is the pack of light bulbs that I bought for my recess lighting under there. And are you guys, do you guys feel the same way? So it always says like it'll last nine years or 12 years. That's a whole lie because you don't know how many times I've replaced these same lights in here. All right, y'all, is she hanging on or barely hanging? because today I noticed these dead leaves right here and I've been doing my best to try to keep her alive. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is the longest any plant has ever survived in my whole existence of taking care of plants. I'm still trying though, I'm not gonna give up until it's completely dead. Barely hanging or hanging on. <laughs> what do you think? Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. Let me see if I turn the light on. Will it be better lighted in here? I guess that's better. Anyway, um, today is Monday, and technically, I'm supposed to water my plant on Saturdays. So, if you're thinking, Michelle, 
Don't you have your alarm set for 12 o'clock noon to go off every Saturday to water your plants? Yes. And it's Monday and you didn't do it? Okay. Anyway, can somebody please suggest to me, because I do want live plants in my house, but if you guys have known me for a long time and from what I told you guys, I have an ash thumb. I kill everything and don't suggest succulents or cactuses because guess who's killed those two? This girl here. So can you suggest something that takes very little watering, <laughs> very little care that doesn't need a whole lot of sun and I don't know, just suggest to me some plants who that are pretty much, they take care of themselves. That's what I need, a plant that can take care of themselves. Anyway, so I am just sitting here, I'm about to do my devotional, I have my Bible here, and I have this here just for modesty, whatever. But I do have my coffee, and I'm having it in my favorite Pirates of the Caribbean Disney mug. This is my favorite, I don't have very many Disney mugs like Melissa, but the ones, out of the ones I do have, this one is my favorite. Let me turn it around so you guys can see, I know it's, Guys can't see everything on it, but it says Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean, depending on how you want to um, pronounce it. And then the handle is like this. So, and speaking of Melissa, she's the one who gave this to me when she took a trip to Disneyland, maybe like two years ago. So, yeah, anyway, um, I do have to go out today. Why does, and I've seen this on someone's TikTok, why does going out for food now feels like a supply run from like The Walking Dead? It literally feels that way. Although there were some people in South Sacramento yesterday that were um, hanging out, they blocked up the streets and they were, I don't know what they were doing. They were in their, well, they were in their cars and they, they were like circling and making it, um, burn rubber with the smoke. Y'all know I'm old. I don't know all the terms, whatever. So there was a lot of young kids like in their 20s and I'm sure teens, whatever, that were out. And it's like, you guys, social distancing. The longer you do this, the longer we're going to have to do this. And I'm sure someone in that crowd had corona, you know? So they were not being very smart. So yeah, South Sac, yeah. Anyway, let me do my devotional and <clears throat> go on my supply run. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll come back later. So you guys, I've been, during this time, I've been watching so many YouTube organizational videos and declutter videos and I'm in the mood to do it, right? So for the longest time, even before all this happened, I had been wanting to rearrange my pantry because I don't have a huge pantry I wish I my kitchen is not very big it's small you guys have seen it anyway I don't have a walk-in pantry which I would love that's why I actually bought right that over there and I call it a broom closet but it's pretty much I do have my brooms in there but I also have Boston's food and what else the mop the things that are like that that we put over there but in here is my pantry where we keep the cereal and the, and I'm sorry I look like this, but it is what it is. The cereal and the canned foods and stuff like that. The boxes of pasta, stuff like that. So I've been wanting to redo my pantry for the longest, but I really can't go anywhere to get anything that I need because I would need to go to the container store because the video that I seen, she had these containers that were really cool and you press the top and it opens it and you press the top again and it like seals everything on the inside so let me show you guys don't judge me yeah this is my pantry here and up there right there at the top <laughs> that's just like um where I keep the ice cream maker um what else just big huge appliances like that that I don't use this goes pretty far back it's pretty deep right here is where I have my cereals and I have this and I don't mind this container but I like the one that I seen better so now that I really really have time to do it I'm not able to because I can't just go to the container store I mean I get it it is what it is and maybe I can look on Amazon I don't know or I'll just wait I mean we've been living with it like that 
all this time so maybe I'll just wait till this is over and then I'll redo my pantry but what I can do okay so I'm actually about to jump in a shower and get dressed but anyway so <clears throat> I don't know if you guys been watching me a long time but the ones who do remember when I redid my living room and I um, the table that's underneath my TV how I decorated all that and I knew that when I did it it wouldn't stay like that forever and now I just want to redo it again I am not able to go to home goods or Ikea or TJ Maxx to get any of the things that I really want I mean I know I can order it on Amazon but I'm trying not to spend any unnecessary money right now yeah so I am just going to redo things with what I already have. Let me show you guys, this is a total mess, but I have a reason, so don't judge me. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, it's a mess. So this is not, not what I'm talking about. This is what the table looks like now, but this is what I'm talking about right here. And yes, I know it's a mess, but we brought the Wii out because the girls, Cheyenne ordered um, Just Dance 2019 because we're stuck in a house and we're bored. So. That's the reason why that's out, but we keep those in one of these um, bins here. And this is the Roku. I don't have a smart TV here in the living room, so we do have to have the Roku attached to it. That's the reason for the cords. And then this is the DVD player for when we watch movies. So that's the reason why that's out, but I'm gonna straighten up this whole thing. But I don't know if you guys remember, but I went to Hobby Lobby and I got like this mirror and I glued all these flowers on on here and I just redid all this and I put the runner here but I just want a different look I don't like it anymore you guys but like I said the stores that I want to go to to get stuff it's closed so you know I'm not complaining I get it for our health and everything but I'm just gonna try to redo what I can with what I have and I don't necessarily need a runner on this table so I think I'm actually going to take this runner and put it over here and just put this one away for now or maybe only bring it out because it is fall colors and I think I bought this just because to bring out more orange in the living room but I think I'm going to um, put this away and bring it out only in the fall and then <laughs> the area over here ignore my fireplace we have never used it since we've been in here and Savannah keeps telling me mom get someone in to clean the fireplace out or whatever and I actually think come this winter Lord willing, hopefully I will finally get someone to do that. Anyway, so I just want to change the look of things just to freshen it up. So I'm going to do that later when I get back. So yeah, ignore all this. Like I said, it's just I have to be here all day long. And then this is what my pillows look like when you just throw it back on the couch. All right, you guys, so I'm ready. I'm just waiting on Savannah. Cause she's coming with me on my supply run. I don't know why I just think that's totally funny. I used to watch The Walking Dead and then I just got bored with it. Not really bored, but the season that they made that, put that Negan character in, they gave him too much power, and I think that's the same season that, because my brother, Faraji, he started me liking it. And so even though I totally hate anything that has to do with a zombie, I watched that because it was like the story behind the lives behind these people whatever and I actually may start watching it again it is on Netflix I don't know we'll see but the season that they put the Negan character in there they gave him too much power like I said and um, that's the season where they lost so many we're gonna call them subscribers so many viewers but if I remember correctly from what I heard they said in the comics the Negan character is in there also. I don't know. But anyway, that's when I stopped watching it. Why did I say that? Oh, because I said supply run. Anyway, so we are going to go to Walmart because we need stuff for the house. I was thinking like for my living room on the, the one coffee table, I can look in Walmart to see if they have any decorations. But now is really not the time to shop or anything like that. Usually we go in and do what we got to do and get in and out, you know, not dilly dally. So it's not really time to shop and, oh, let me look for things for my house, you know, because I want to do what I got to do, get in and out, get home. But if I'm there, I, I can at least go down the aisle and see if there's anything. So I may do that. I don't know. It's And you guys, I'm not afraid when I'm out there. I just... 
I want to listen. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to touch everything. So I just try to do what I got to do and go home and keep my hands clean. I do have sanitizer in the car and so stuff like that. Anyway, so today when we leave, I have to go get gas in the car. Today is going to be the first time I have got gas for like four weeks. <laughs> Mind you, my tank wasn't on full. It's than half a tank, but I do have to. Are you getting ready? I think I'm actually out of gloves. Cause I do, they said it hangs onto metal surfaces longer. Gas handles are nasty anyway to begin with. So yeah, I'm gonna look and see if I have any gloves just to pump gas and then when I'm done, take them off and throw them away. People who are out there using gloves all day long, touching everything, contaminating everything, you're not protecting nothing. Cause if you're reaching in your pocket for your keys and doing stuff like that, you're contaminating everything. I come from a medical slash dental background and we change our gloves between patients. If we clean a dirty room, then we throw those gloves away. I mean, come on people, think about it. If you think you're protecting yourself, you're if you just touch something contaminated with the gloves on, you just touch your steering wheel or whatever like that. So think about it. If you think you're protecting yourself, you're really not if you're using one pair of gloves all day long. Yeah, think about that. Pretty nasty. Anyway, why'd I get on that rant? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna bring my camera because usually I try, like I said, I try to do what I need to do and hurry up and get back in the house. And I don't wanna keep touching my camera because I do have my sanitizer in my car, but I don't know, we'll see. And you guys, I'm done with the project in my room and I was actually going to show you guys, but I wanted to get some decorations for it. And I have some things coming from Amazon. I had Savannah order it because when she became a college student, college students get six months or a year, something like that, free for Amazon Prime. I even had Savannah order it on her Prime because she gets free shipping because she's a student. I have regular Amazon, not Amazon Prime. And because of everything that's going on, it's still not gonna get here till May 1st or 2nd. May 2nd, okay. so. I am just going to wait until then to show you guys because I want to show you guys like the complete before and then the big reveal after with all the decorations. Not all the decorations is not very many at all. So I think I'll wait, but I am done with the project in my room. I just need to do a few touch ups. I mean, I have all this time and we're here, so why not, right? So I'm excited about that. And yeah, let's get going. It is 1.20. What's the temperature outside? Do I need a jacket? Ooh, 72 degrees. Nope, sure don't. Let's go. I'm just waiting on Savannah to get in the car. And I turned my car off because I'm literally on E, like, well, it says 24 miles. So I guess I could let the car warm up a bit, but I seriously have to go straight to the gas station to get my gas. Anyway, um, why did I bring up the camera? Oh, I think I need to, check on my neighbor next door the older lady I've been telling you guys about um, but I'm not gonna go over to her house to check on her I will call her later and I probably should have actually called her before I went out to see if there's anything she needs because her car is there she's home okay let me call her you guys because if there's something that she needs I'd rather us go get it than the her to go get it um, she's like I think in her 80s or something like that. So yeah, let me call her. So we're in Walmart and look what I found, which is so true. A house is lived in, it's not for show. If you don't like the mess, you know where to go. I should get that. Okay, so we're back home and I did get some stuff from Walmart to, I don't know, just to change up the living room. I mean, it was there, I was there, why not? We didn't take very long at all and that's back there because I seen a spider so I sprayed it and I'm waiting and then I'll clean it up anyway all right so I changed it up you guys I had the tablecloth here and I just brought it up here it actually looks a whole lot better here for now until I get a smart TV I have to keep that there that's the Roku and I'm sure we will be bringing the DVD player or the kids will bring the Xbox up here when they need to play the game um, so anyway, that's there and I just kept it simple 
just the pictures of us when we were eating at the Jazz Kitchen in Disneyland. And I wish before they took the picture, I think I told you guys this, they would at least told us to take the napkins off of the table. So anyway, I still bought those because it's still memories. And then I have this here. It says Faith. Tariq actually got me this for, I don't know, maybe Mother's Day or something like that. Let me see. Okay, that looks better. You know, sometimes you turn things around, even though it's the same, it just looks better. Yep, I like that. So that's that. And remember that was on the center there. I'm actually, I don't know if I'm going to reuse that because now I don't like it. So I'll probably just throw it away. Just put it there for now until I decide if I'm really, truly going to toss it. And on my table, I decided that I don't necessarily need a table runner on here. So I got this wooden crate at Walmart and I got all three of these and let me bring it closer to show you guys so I'm thinking I really don't need that in there I may return that I wanted to fill it up but I think it's a little bit too much I mean I like it like that it's just something for now until everything opens back up and then I can actually get what I want. But I just needed a change. I needed something different. What do you guys think of this? You guys think I should move it and leave it like that? Or keep it in there? I don't know. We'll see. And this stuff here, I can actually use in other places around the house if I do decide to get something else. So th th I'm definitely keeping this because... I always wanted one of these for here anyway, but I don't know if I'm going to keep the setup on the inside. And underneath here, <laughs> because of lack of a better place to put it, I just put the candles right there. I mean, yeah. What do you guys think? It's just something for now until I can actually get what I want. The area that's in front of my fireplace, I just decided to leave it as it is for now because I'm just going to wait to actually get maybe taller candle stick holders or something like that i'm just gonna wait till everything's over that way i can get what i want instead of buying something just because it's there and spending all that extra money so all of this was very inexpensive that's the reason why i got it so yeah you guys good morning everyone i doubt it's morning but whatever good morning anyway it's been a while i know um today is i think today is thursday but i want to show you guys what i got so um, my stove right here, it's a glass top stove, if that's what you want to call it, right here. And when I first moved in, I know it's like really stained, really bad right there. But when I first moved in, the lady who lived here before, where the family, she left this, well not this particular one, she left one of these here, like here, to tell me that's how you take care of the stove and whatever. So ever since then, I've been buying that and I've been cleaning the stove. But I've been using a pot scraper and I stopped using a pot scraper because it'll mess up my um, cooktop or whatever. So I did some research and move the address out of the way okay and I found on what's that Amazon a tool that you can use to scrape it and it came with a scrubbing pad this tool which has a razor blade in it and you cover it and also some more of that solution um, it's just in a smaller one. This was six bucks. So I got that on Amazon and it came today. So I am going to attempt to get all of this garbage off of my stove. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Hopefully a whole lot better. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this. This is totally disgusting. But even after me using a pot scraper and trying to scrape that off because I don't want to damage my... I have had like a ring of stuff that's around there look what this razor blade is taking off this is disgusting this is stuff that i thought i had cleaned off and it was just burnt and stuck on there that would not come off so as i'm scraping it try to do this with one hand hold on like in that area right there look at all that it's taken off okay i need both my hands so i can finish 
oh my goodness you guys I am so pleased with the outcome this is just normal wear and tear because I don't know how long they had this stove before I moved in you could tell which one that I use the most I mainly use this one and then this one but I rarely use the ones in the back so that's why they don't show up very well anyway if you remember what it looked like before look at all this grime is completely gone and I thought my stoves were clean you guys I'm gonna make this a regular part of my daily cleaning when I clean after I cook I'm definitely going to use that so if you guys have a glass top you need to get this so I think it's called Weeman oh Wyman Weeman cooktop cleaning kit I looked for this actually in Walmart Walmart and I only found the solution the bigger bottle that I showed you guys before I did not find the razor blade but I did find the scrubbing pads you can actually get that at Walmart but who knew you guys I did not know I was just on YouTube watching random cleaning videos and there was this lady who I was watching because you know they're inspiring they make you want to do everything to your house so anyway I was watching it and this lady she had a similar gas um, glass top stove as mine and she brought out the solution to clean it and then she said oh you have to get this and that's how I found out that you have to use a razor blade to get all that gunk off because like I said I had been using a pot scraper and then I would take a knife and try to scrape it it would not come off at all it stayed on there so I just cleaned my stove top the best I could and oh my goodness what a difference it made I thought my stove was clean but apparently around the rim it was not so that took out a lot of gunk and I'm just gonna make that a regular part of my cleaning just gonna pull the razor blade out and yeah who knew apparently she did <laughs> that's why you know her stove looks a whole lot better than mine but I wish I had known this when I moved in and I could have always done that so another thing that I know my hair looks a mess you guys I feel like it's blurry is it Let's. I don't know anyway another thing that I got is I've started using the Mrs. Myers cleaning products like this stuff right here and I also have the dish soap and also on the same video I seen that they were using this little contraption right here called the bubble up so it's just like a little brush and a container right there you put the soap and water in there and then you'll push it down and that's how you would wash your dishes or scrub your dishes on by hand so yeah you guys I'm bored and that actually was nine dollars so I'm not spending a whole lot of money right now because you know we are not working but um yeah I'm so excited about that and yeah, that's all I got for now. Just waiting for a few more things um, before I show you guys my room. My hair is a mess, I know, but I'm not going anywhere today. We've been doing yard work where Cheyenne has, and I'm going to do a little bit out in the front. You guys know me. I always have to have some kind of project. When I'm done with one, it's like, what can I do next? And I've actually done everything that I want to do in the house other than finish up the little touches that... I need to do for my room before I show you guys and of course the countertops but y'all trust me if that was something I could do on my own I'd have granite countertops or marble or something fancy but that's nothing that I can do on my own I can't afford it right now so until then I get the ugly 90s style countertops I absolutely hate it I'm pretty much done with everything that I want to do for the house the dining room's done I did the kitchen a while back I mean it's not fancy and whatever but I like it and I did it on my own and I'm proud of it so I'm sitting here um, a couple days ago and I'm like I need a new project I want to build something I want to put something together because that's just me I just want to do something and I'm like hmm the backyard remember I told you guys how my backyard's a jungle yeah it's no longer a jungle cut everything down but the wheels in my head are turning and I'm gonna get this backyard together. I should have got some video of what it looked like before just so I could show you guys. So embarrassing, but I didn't. But I will combine a video on the progress that we make in this backyard. That is my next project and that won't happen right away. That's gonna be a while. So when that happens, I'll show you guys, but 
yeah, that's all we're doing. 